Now I've turned my cake upside down and you can see I've got a really nice design around it. But before I pipe the border on, I just wanted to mention, you've all asked me in the past about my turntable, the one with the clamps and the one that leans, and I've said that, it, that it's out of date, there isn't one available anymore. Um, a friend of mine called Dawn Parrot in America has just launched a new one of these turntables. It's made of solid wood with adjustable brackets. It's a wonderful bit of kit, so if you happen to be in America, yes, there is now a tilting turntable out there. Um, she's called it the tip of tilt and grip turntable I believe and it's by Dawn Parrot and her website is www.dawnparrot.com so that's d-a-w-n P-A-R-R-O-T-T dot com and I will endeavour to put the link on the material and equipment list for you just because people are asking me. Okay now we're going to work on the bottom border here now we already know we've done these upside down. If I tap them with the nozzle, I could break them off. So I'm going to pipe a barrel into this space and then end it with a small dot. So I'm going to use a number 40, um, not a 44, a 199 Wilton nozzle, and we're using a rotating action. Okay, I'm going to start there and end there. I've pulled away, leaving a spike specifically because if I tried wiping against the cake, I'd end up damaging my nice border. I'm then going to flip to a number two nozzle, and in the gap in between, I'm going to pipe a bulb of icing. Again, where I've got a little spike, I'm going to use a damp paintbrush just to tap that end down. Then I'm going to repeat this process again. Now I've decided to use a 199 nozzle because I actually quite like the effect it gives me. Although if you're in Britain you could use a PME number 13 or a number 8 is another one. Basically any serrated nozzle or piping tip as I've been corrected by my American friends um, will give you the same effect. I just think we always use the barrels as a foundation for other borders. However, even left on its own, it's a really nice, robust border. It's also quite a quick one, so for those of you who are doing cakes for cash, this is a border that's quite economical on time, and yet it still looks impressive. Now I chose to do all of this in white on a green cake, but obviously you could add any colours you want on here. I will tell you what colours green I used afterwards. I want to say it was a combination of holly ivy and fern by once again it was by Sugar Flare. Um, it wasn't a pre-bought colour, it was just a colour I made up from white sugar paste or fondant. I happen to like green cakes, I like that pistachio colour that's become very popular with brides lately. Another reason we chose colour here is because I know through my experience of filming, working white on white doesn't always pick up well on the camera. down to the last two. And the final dot in there. Now, I'm piping the pearls on here, or the dots in here. This would be a great place to put any sort of little adornment. 
You could put a small blossom, you could have put a drage, you could have put a small holly leaf. There are little um, plunger holly leaf cutters you could put in there as well. Anywhere to accent, accent the design is fine. So that gives me my bottom border. Now let's look at what I'm about to try and do for all of the top. So I will see you then and we'll take a look at holly leaves.